Question 21 is all about percentages and making sure you know the relationships between them. It says 20% of Megan's number is 64. So Megan's thought of a mystery number. She doesn't actually tell us what that mystery number is. A mystery number is not 64, but 20% of that mystery number is 64. Now, I didn't really care what the number she's thought of is. I just need to figure out what 50% of a mystery number is. So I need to get from 20% to 50%. Now there's actually a couple of different ways you could do this. You could start by building it up. So start with what you know. You know that 20% is 64. You can do another 20% and then you can do 10%. Because 20%, 20% and 10%, if you add them together, would give you your 50%. And that's what we're trying to get. That's what it says there. So if you start sticking your numbers in, 20% is 64, so another 20% is 64 again. 10% is going to be half of that. Half of 64 is 32. Now I'll just add those together. So 4 plus 4 plus 2 is 10. Put your 0 in, carry 1. 6 and 3 is 9. Plus 1 is 10. Plus that 6 is 16. So you put your 6 in. Could carry the 1, but there's no other column. So just put the 1 straight in. So it looks like the answer is 160. Now there is actually a different way we could have done that. We could have said, right, okay, well, what I can do now is I can say, well, I can 20% is 64. So from that, I could go down to 10%, which is 32. From that, I could go down to 5%. Which is, which is going to be half in it again, which is 16. And from 5%, I could times that by 10. 5% times 10 will give me 50%. So I need to times this by 10, which would give me 160, which is exactly the same answer as what I've got doing it the other way. Lots of different ways of doing this question. You've just got to manipulate the 20% and try and somehow change it back into 50% by times in, by dividing, by halving, by doubling. Got to get it back to 50%. Those of you who are interested in what our original number would be, well, if 50% was 160, the original number would have been 100%, so double that. So you double your 160 would have been 320. So Megan's number would actually have been 320. And 20% of that would have been 64. But you, your answer that that's just a bonus to if you're interested, your actual answer that you're interested in is 160.